Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the following question and the question says From the given Venn diagram list the following sets. The first part is A intersection B. Second part is A union B. Third part is A complement. Fourth part is B complement. Fifth part is A intersection B whole complement. And the sixth part is A union B whole complement. Let's start the solution now. We are given this Venn diagram and the first part is A intersection B. Now we know that A intersection B contains all those elements which are common in both the sets A and B. In this Venn diagram, set A is represented by the circle A and set B is represented by the circle B. The rectangle represents the universal set O. We can see that the common area between the two sets A and B is this portion. We will shape this portion in yellow. So this portion represents A intersection B. Let us now write what we have represented. A intersection B is represented by yellow shaded portion. Now this shaded portion contains the elements 2 and 4. So we can say that A intersection B is equal to the set containing the elements 2, 4. The second part is A union B. Now we know that A union B contains elements which are in the set A or B or both. So, A union B is represented by this portion. We will now shade the area representing A union B in green. Let us now write down what we have represented. A union B is represented by green shaded portion. We can see that this shaded portion contains the elements 1, 3, 2, 4, 6 and 8. So A union B is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. Third part is A complement. We know that A complement contains all those elements of the universal set O which are not in the set A. So A complement is the area outside the circle A inside this rectangle. Let us now shade the area outside the circle A. So this shaded portion in yellow represents A complement. Let us now write down what we have represented. So A complement is represented by Shaded portion in yellow. We can see that this shaded portion contains the elements 6, 8, 10, 11 and 13. So A complement is equal to the set containing the elements 6, 8, 10, 11 and 13. 
Now the fourth part is B complement. Now B complement contains the elements which are in the universal set O but not in the set B. So in the Venn diagram, B complement is the area outside the circle B inside the rectangle. We now shade the area outside the circle B. So we have represented B complement by this pink shaded portion. Let us now write down what we have represented. B complement is represented by pink shaded portion. We can see that this shaded portion contains the elements 1, 3, 10, 11, 13. So B complement is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 3, 10, 11, 13. Next part is A intersection B whole complement. In the first part we found A intersection B. We know that A intersection B whole complement contains elements which are in O but not in A intersection B. So A intersection B whole complement is the area outside this common portion inside the rectangle. So we have represented A intersection B whole complement by this shaded portion in yellow. We shall now write down what we have represented. A intersection B whole complement is represented by yellow shaded portion. We can see that this shaded portion contains the elements 1, 3, 10, 6, 8, 11 and 13. So A intersection B whole complement is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 3, 6, 8, 11, 13. Now the next part is A union B whole complement. Now in the second part we found A union B which is the shaded portion. So A union B whole complement contains elements which are outside the shaded portion inside the rectangle. We now shade the area outside the circles A and B. So the shaded portion in green represents A union B whole complement and it contains elements in the set O which are not in A union B and the shaded portion contains the elements 10, 11 and 13. We shall now write down what we have represented. A union B whole complement is represented by green shaded portion and A union B whole complement is equal to the set containing the elements 10, 11, 13. With this we end our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.